Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at another ink. Today it's going to be Pilot Eroshizuku Momiji. Um, just before we get into this, I do have two things to say. Um, one, I apologize for my voice in advance. Um, I'm a little congested, so uh, if it sounds weird, that's why. Um, two, if UPS comes through, I will be doing a live stream tomorrow, an unboxing of a brand new Keras Customs Pen. Um, well, not brand new. The model is the Decagraph, but this one just came out. It was a limited production run. I do believe they're sold out, unfortunately, but I will be doing a live unboxing tomorrow. Now, I don't expect you to like sit around and wait all day for me to unbox it. If you go over to my Instagram, you don't have to follow me or anything dumb like that. Um, if you go over to my Instagram, though, which is just jakes underscore take, um, I will be posting on there at least an hour, if not more, before I do the live stream. So that way you can expect to um, be there in time to, to catch it. All right, let's go ahead and get to the ink review. Um, so this comes in the standard Pilot Orochizuku box, which is kind of this metallic-y uh, silver, kind of textured. Not much on it. I picked this up, I believe, from Anderson Pens for about 20 bucks, which is the new Pilot Orochizuku price. They had been a little higher, um, but they figured out a way to mass produce the bottles and saved quite a bit of money. So you can pick these up for about $18 to $20 now, depending on where you get them from. So here is the bottle. Um, as with almost all of my Pilot inks, I have a stain there already on the label. Comes this little scarf thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. Some of my favorites. Um, they're just they're just really, really nice. Very reflective, very sturdy, and they have that little dip down there for you to keep filling from, even if the ink gets slow. That's very, very helpful. Regular plastic cap, nice wide neck. Very easy to fill from. Haven't had any issues filling any pens from any of the Pilot uh, Roshizuku bottles. So it's nice. But yeah, it's a very, very nice color. Um, this one's a little lighter. It is almost translucent. So if you put this in a demonstrator, you will get, you know, a pretty decent uh, see-through effect. It does look almost black, though. So if you're wanting something really good, I might go a little lighter, lighter maybe Kosumosu or something like that. But um, let's go ahead and take a look. So there's the ink bottle. Here's the ink swatch for it. Um, pretty good amount of range on this. Uh, it may be a little hard for you to pick up on camera, but uh, that's your standard color, which is kind of this pinkish red. It does have some lighter pink tones. If you go with a finer nib, you may get that. And also, it does have a decent amount of shading. Um, it can be this kind of slightly darker red pink or this kind of bright, vibrant, almost flamingo pink. I um, mean, it does have some sort of golden brown hues that you can kind of pick up there, um, which is interesting. I didn't get that really in any of the writing, but I assume if you used a ridiculously wet nib, you might actually get some of that. But the same thing on the other side. Um, you can see when I kind of tilt, towards, tilt it towards the uh, light, you'll get a little bit more of that golden brown kind of thing to it. So it's a very interesting ink. Um, I really, really like this color quite a bit. Let's go ahead and um, I'll compare it to some other reds. And uh, maybe a pink here. So let's see. Here it is with Kosumosu, which is a, uh, a pink from the Pilot Roshizuku line. So you can see it is quite a bit darker. It is um, much, much darker than the Kosumosu. So they're, they're, they're close-ish, but this is, if you're wanting something a, just slightly uh, more readable, I'd probably go with the Momiji. Here it is, is against Salami Vibrant Pink. Very different colors, to be honest. Just thought I'd put this in there, as it's kind of a pink ink with similar goldish brown tones. And the last, um, Noodler's Widowmaker, which is more of a red. So you can definitely see this is a pinkish red. It has that pink tone to it. So if that's something you're looking for, but you still want that readability, that darkness and saturation, you might want to go here. Let's go ahead and take a look at a writing sample. So I have it here and a Lamy 2000 with a medium nib, so it is fairly wet. Let's see, let's skip there. Pilot Eroshizuku. Momiji. My wife had actually gotten me a sample of this ink and I, I just, I loved it. It is part of Goulet's um, either autumn or fall, I'm not sure exactly how they phrase it, but their um, autumn or fall color sample pack. Very, very, very nice ink. like it quite a bit. I also really, really liked the Dye Mine Autumn Oak from that package. 
I got a few colors I didn't like, like Apache Sunset, which I already had a full bottle of. That was a massive mistake. Uh, um, I also got uh, maybe Noodler's Yellow Brown or something like that, which isn't terrible, but it just wasn't my shade. I'm not a big fan of yellows. Um, I may try to pick up some more here in the future just so I can kind of get used to it, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and try a dry time test. Now, keep in mind that the Orochizuku inks, in my personal experience, are very, very wet may just be me um, and rhodia paper is fairly ink resistant so i generally don't get uh, dry times by the 10 second mark but we'll see like a one still wet by three but it's drying a little bit a little bit more dry by five let me give it a few seconds here and then do the 10. So again, you're not going to have it perfectly dry, but really, if you're riding on rodeo with a medium western nib that's fairly wet already, you're probably not going to expect that. But it's a very, very nice color. I like it. Um, it's pretty vibrant without being too over the top. It's it's somewhat close to a, uh, a standard red pen, maybe, with a little bit more pink, a little bit more vibrancy, a little bit more punch, but I like it quite a bit. It's one of my favorite Pilot Roshizuku inks, actually. But that's it for today. Um, please don't forget about that live stream if you are interested in that. I will also, if you have any questions or anything like that, you can feel free to chat me while I'm doing the live stream. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it. Um, I may be discussing some other stuff. It just depends on what you guys want to talk about. But um, like I said, go over to my Instagram, jakes underscore take. I'll leave a link down in the description on why I pointed down at the notepad down, down this way for you guys. Um... I'll leave a link down in the description and you can click there. I will be posting beforehand to let you know about what time I'm going to be doing it. I'm on Eastern Standard, so adjust your times on accordingly. Thanks, guys. Bye.